let's push After Effects to the limit and create beautiful 3D cinematic scenes. The power to develop breathtaking motion graphics will be in your hands all within the next few minutes. So let's become rock stars and get started. Alrighty, hopefully Adobe will continue to improve the 3D capabilities of After Effects because I need to keep my terrible Cinema 4D work buried for as long as possible. Don't go looking for it. But in the meantime, we're going to approach 3D scenes by setting up the landscape and floor first. Get started by creating a 100% pure white solid and then set it to a whopping 5000 by 5000 and make this layer as 3D as possible. Make it feel bloated. To set this as our official floor, set the X rotation to 90 degrees and feel free to lower the Y position so we can actually see it. Now, the most important part of this tutorial is to set your 3D renderer to advanced 3D. But for now, I'm setting you up for good things. Yes, good things. So to create your landscape, select the pen tool and create a, a blob. Just a random shape, random design like this. Then make it 3D and set its X rotation to, well, 90 degrees. So we can go to the extrusion depth and set it to 100 or really any value works. But we'll set the beveled style to convex and the bevel depth to 20. So to see what's going on here, let's go super professional and expand our view to two views. I'm using the right view because, well, I'm right-handed and probably right-brained. I think I'm missing the left side. So we want to lower the Y position of our landscape element until it clips into the floor, uh, sitting there perfectly like that. Now, I suggest going into the path and hit Control T to scale your design so that it'll be much larger uh, when you're expanding the corner. And pro tip, hold Control and shift on your keyboard while doing this. I know this looks pretty bad, but I promise we're so close to making this look amazing. So before we duplicate everything here, make sure cast and accept shadows are turned on for your layer under material options. All right, so to see what we're doing, go ahead and create a camera and then using the camera tools here at the top, we can zoom out and angle this however that we want and feel free to increase the scale of your floor. And when ready, create an environment light so then we can start making this actually look good. Now let's edit Duplicate your landscape element, then Y position up right when it touches the top of the previous layer, then Control T edit the path and scale it down. And then repeat this process of duplicating, repositioning, and scale until you have, I don't know, five to seven layers. So this is all coming together, but first, be sure to get our 100 free template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. As you may know, we also have tens of thousands of templates, including these cinematic titles you've seen in this tutorial, followed by transitions, animation presets, and everything you need to produce the best projects in no time, the link below. Okay, back in this, to utilize the power of an environment light, you need an HDR image. I'll link the one that I'm using below, and yes, it's free. But when ready, set the source of the light to the HDRI, and just like that, one quick step makes this look presentable. I wish styling my hair was that easy. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have a hairstyle. If you don't like the angle of the light, you can adjust the rotation values here to essentially, I don't know, move the shadows and feel free to mess with the intensity. All right, so this is your opportunity to create more landscapes, or if you're lazy like me, just duplicate everything and move it over. From here, I would position the camera into place and animate the point of interest and position using the camera tools to create your overall scene movement and very cool. However, the scene is missing that clean, white, finishing look. And I found the best way to pull this off is to create a solid layer and then apply the gradient ramp effect to it. Then just change the colors here to grayish colors and finally set the blend mode of the layer to screen and boom. Very clean, easy hack. Okay, so we have some cool landscapes but the power of this workflow can now be unlocked with OBJs. The objects I've used here can be found for free when you search for .obj 3D models. And I got all these models over at CG Trader. I'll put that in the description below. But once you have an OBJ, import it into your project and make sure you click set the comp size or else a penguin somewhere will beat up a polar bear. Then use two views to place objects around your scene and watch the shadows come to life. And as a quick tip, you can use the colorama effect on an adjustment layer to easily change the color of your scene by using the presets. Then you may want to lower the intensity of your light. But anyway, subscribe if you want to be the best and always be creative.